hello friends welcome to my channel and today in this video I'm going to show you how to add or connect your Windows 10 machine with Windows Admin Center so uh, as we have discussed in previous videos you can manage Windows 10 machine Windows client machine also from by using Windows Admin Center so this is extended thing which we can um, use uh, in our production environment in our infra to manage the Windows 10 machines also by using the Windows Admin Center so so you can manage like servers you can manage converse networks uh, conver hyper converse you can manage the clusters you can ma manage uh, uh, Windows machines as well as so and here you can see in this uh, screenshot I have connected to my Windows 10 CL01 machine and if you go here you can see what I have added so this is Windows uh, 10 enterprise machine which I am connected through Windows Admin Center so in this video we are going to see how we can uh, connect Windows uh, machines with Admin Center and what is the prerequisite which you have to make sure up and running on Windows client machine to get connected with uh, with Windows Admin Center so let let's get in so this is my infrastructure it's a very simple infrastructure we have three machines here the first machine is Win2K19 DC01 which is my Active Directory and DNS server you can see here an IP address of my Active Directory server is 192.168.0.151 and if I go here you can see Active Directory and DNS server is running on this machine and if I go to local server you can see uh, computer name which is Win2K19 DC01 and my domain name is victorinfosol.lan and the IP address of my domain controller. So this is basically my uh, Active Directory server. And the second machine which we have is our uh, Windows Admin Center which is Win2K19 AC01 which is Windows Admin Center and IP address of this machine 192.168.0.150 and I have a 6 gig of memory to this machine and this is joined in my victorinfosol.lan. So let's check out so here you can see this is Win2K19 AC01 and this is joining my domain and here we have a IP address of this machine 192.168.0.150 and if I go to control panel to just verify what we have so we have Windows Admin Center installed on this machine so I'm going to launch Windows Admin Center in a Chrome so in Chrome I'm going to type just my server name which is going to take me to the HTTPS forward slash forward slash Win2K19 AC01 which is my Windows Admin Center so this is good and now what next we have our client machine which is Win10-CL01 and which is IP address is 192.168.0.161 and this machine is joined in my domain so if I go here and open up properties you can see Windows 10 Enterprise and our computer name is Win10-CL01 and full qualified domain name is going to be this and it's joined in my domain and this is my machine so and if I go and check what user I logged in so basically if I type who am I you can see this is going to be victorinfosol dot uh, victorinfosol user account which is user zero one. So let's get started and add this Windows 10 machine in admin center. So the first thing which you need, you have to go in services, and you have to make sure that one service is required to be always in running state for getting managed by Windows Admin Center which is this Windows Remote Management WS Management so if I double click on this machine you will see I'm not going to get any option to start or uh, stop or change startup type of this machines because I'm not the admin I, I don't have uh, this user user 01 does not have administrative rights to this machine so to do this we have to log out from this machine and you have to log in with the user which have administrative rights on this machine so I'm going to use my local administrator account to log in to this machine and going to change the services type 
so now I logged in and I'm going to open services and then if you scroll down and go to windows you will see the service and now you are able to change it from like automatic and start it so before doing this I want to show you what the error we are going to get if the service is not running so if you click on add and here we have an add windows PC connection so if you type here name win 10 CL01 it's going to resolve first so you can see access denied to this so but you need to provide administrator access to connect so I'm going to connect with my AC admin account and if I click on submit you can see the machine is added but when I'm going to click on connect you can see what it's giving the client cannot connect to destination specified and request in the request because you can see Windows WS management service is not running on this machine so to make sure this we have to go here and change this setting and do it automatic to make sure it's automatically going to start whenever you go, you are going to restart this machine so and just click on restart and that's all now if I go again and click on continue you can see we are able to connect this machine and we can see all these things here like we are connected to Win 10 CL01 so this is good so y you just need to make sure uh, your AWS management services are running on the client machine so you can connect them basically the service is uh, uh, going to allow you to remote management from this uh, for this machine so this is good so now you can see you have nice uh, graphical presentation of like CPU memory disk and Ethernet all here so you can see what's going on with your machine and how is the performance like related to related to CPU memory and ATC so now also you can go ahead and restart and shut down this windows machine from here from admin center which is good and if you click on edit computer ID you can also change this machine from like computer name if you wish to change or you wish to change in put in work group or domain you can do it from here so this is nice thing and you can see all the information like how much memory this have how many like total disk space which is free and total you can see logical processor how many you can see here model number of machine also since I'm using VMware acquisition so it's showing me VMware 7.1 and you can see uh, uptime how many users are logged in and you can see the version processor all the details are here and if you go on app and features you can also do management for applications from here so like you can uninstall if you wish to uninstall any application from that machine you can come here and you can uninstall so I'm going to give it the uh, uninstallation demo for one of the application so we can go here and for example I'm going to select Xbox and click on remove so are you sure you want to remove Xbox yes so it's going to initiate here and you can see successfully removed Xbox so now if I go and refresh this you can see this is going to be change so also you can see here if you go here you can see what all the features are there if you wish to install any feature like if you want to install telnet you can go here and select and just click on enable so it's going to enable the telnet, telnet feature on that machine so you can see successfully enabled telnet so if I refresh this now you can see here telnet is enabled now so this is good and you have certificate options also if you want to install any certificate or see what all certificate this machine having you can go and see 
also you can see what type of devices are connected to this machine like disk if you have connected an USB or anything you can see from here and if it's missing the drivers you can always go and update the drivers for uh, those devices also like you can go here and update uh, devices update uh, disabled devices you can do everything related to device management from here and you can connect to the event management also like you can see the events which is logged on on that particular machine which is connected through windows admin center you can see firewall status also if you wish to create any rule incoming outgoing I think you can do it also if you wish you can go ahead and change these settings so this is cool and you have uh, like local users and group if you wish to add anything uh, any user you can do it if you wish to change anything like add any user in uh, this uh, group administrator you can go here and like you can type the name of that user and just click on ok so it's going to add so this is good feature Oops, it's not fine so you have to make sure user is correct so let's try to add so you need to make sure you type in this way like domain slash user so I'm going to type Victor Infosol and user 01 and then click OK now you can see user 01 is added successfully so this is good and you can also connect through a PowerShell which is going to be give you the extra f uh, like features to connect with this machine using PowerShell like you can see it's asking for password so you can just type the password for this account AC admin which you have logged in and you can go there and you can see like host name oops typing mistake you can see I'm connected with win 10 hyphen CL01 and if you wish to change like see the IP config you can see this so that's nice to connect through PowerShell with this Windows 10 client machine and you can go ahead and always disconnect the session and you have a process options also so what type of process is running and if you want to end any process if you wish like uh, this process is not supposed to use or run you can go and kill that and also you can see general details about these uh, um, processes so how much disk memory and all are uh, being used by that particular process and you have uh, registry options also you can connect to see what type of registry is configured and if you wish to change anything you can go ahead and add a value and modify and delete as well so this is next which is remote desktop feature which you can connect through remote desktop to that particular windows 10 machine so you can see currently remote desktop is not allowed so you can go on settings from here from windows admin center itself and you can go and enable the uh, remote desktop actually so I'm going to save it allow remote connection to this machine so it's going to take few seconds so successful succeeded updated remote desktop settings so this is good now if you go there on remote desktop it's going to connect to the this machine so just wait for a few seconds to pop up so now you can see it's asking for the certificate yeah don't ask me again so it's going to ask you credential so you have to type the credential to connect to this machine so now you can see I am getting logged in by, uh, by my account which is AC admin so I logged in and now if you wish to go and do anything related to like uh, stuff and this Windows 10 client machine you can go and you can do whatever you want from on this machine so this is good and schedule task you also have you can do the um, schedule task from here you can manage the schedule all the schedule tasks which is 
uh, available on that machine also you can create disable enable or delete any schedule task if you wish to and if you wish to start stop anything you can do it from here so which is good you have some advanced option also and go to services you can see the all the services status also if you wish to stop and if you wish to change any settings like log on and anything you can go ahead and do it from here which is good thing so this is very advanced thing and finally you have storage option where you can see what type of disk is attached volume shares everything so you can see one disk is attached and capsule is 60 6 GB and you can see other details also like how much partition this have volumes and properties of the disk like this is a, a virtual machine and virtual machine disks coming from VMware either you can say, uh, get the um, uh, like familiar name like make and model number of the disk so this is good you can see all the volumes and finally you have setting option where you can change the uh, environmental variables and remote desktop and role based access for this machine so this is good so this is all about how you can add or connect your windows 10 machine with windows admin center and how you, you can use windows admin center to do the administrative task on windows machine and how you can uh, check the status of the virtual machine uh, machines which is connected to windows admin center so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me on my given mail address. Thank you once again. Bye bye.